These roads are quiet now, but in just over two months' time, they'll be taken over by nearly 200 cyclists. The area is also expected to be visited by in excess of two million people. But sadly, there was no one there to cheer me on today. So how do local businesses feel about the expected visitors? When it was first announced, I don't think we realised just how big it was. And we went to a couple of meetings and, uh, you know, the, the amount of people that they're expecting or the amount of people that actually watch the race, it's uh, phenomenal, really. And the, the actual, you think, oh, there's a few bikes coming past, but it's uh, everybody before that that's coming. And uh, I think it's going to be quite a big event. And uh, as soon as you can get your head around how big it is, you start to, you either get frightened or you get, get excited, I don't know. Concerns were raised last week when some people who like me, have been trying out parts of the route in advance, found the roads littered with potholes. But the council's been hard at work and many roads like this one in High Bradfield have already been resurfaced. In a statement, Sheffield Council told us that the majority of the road resurfacing work was due to be completed by mid-May. They said all their teams were working hard to ensure that Sheffield was showcased in the best possible light. Even so, some sections of the race route, like this part of Hagstons Road in Worrell, are still dangerously potholy. And with so little time to go, the council will be hoping they can smooth over the cracks in this and the rest of their planning before the race begins. This is William Chalk, pedalling for Just News in Sheffield.